Perfect. Thank Fan you. girlish. Fan girlish. Yes. Yes. Hi, I'm Raquel from Pangerles. Nice to see nice. you. Nice to meet you. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. I, I you know, I'm, uh, I'm glad that this is finally getting out. I'm excited. We drop, uh, you know, Peacock drops it all five episodes, September 8th. So we're, we're, we're excited to finally get this work out there. So yeah, we're pretty stoked. Yeah. <laughs> well, my first question is, uh, what is the appeal of doing a limited series, a limited show versus a regular show when you have to it ha leave open and then season to season? Yeah, limited. I, I love the limited series uh, world. I think I think lots of directors do. You can attract a much more uh, extraordinary cast for a limited series, you know, that they're not having to commit to a whole, uh, you know, that it's not a, it's not a, like a year long commitment or a many years long commitment. It's, it's just for a finite time and you can really get a fantastic cast under those circumstances. And I think it, you know, the stories I want to tell, they're too big for an hour. Uh, they're too big for a feature, but five hours just felt right. You know, it just felt like that. It, it, it's so, as for, for a filmmaker, it's just it's just my ideal, my ideal world. You know, you you can tell a, a big story in five hours with an astonishing cast. That's a pretty good recipe. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> well, my next question is: How did you balance the apocalypse part of the drama and the character heavy part? I, I'm sorry, the last part, the, the apocalypse. Oh, yes. with, uh, with how do you balance the apocalypse? part and the character heavy heavy part the character heavy part you mean uh both yes, sides I, of Matthew's character see, both yeah. sides, sorry yes you know listen this is always what makes a fantastic character you know somebody who's kind of at war with themselves and um it wasn't easy you know Matthew and I both found it very challenging like what is this guy's past and what makes him tick and was he, you know, was he an was he an environmental activist at that time, or what was he really about? We needed we and we need that turmoil. We wanted to see that through the prism of, you know, those two perspectives. But it was hard for Matthew because he was he was a guy always a little bit at war with himself, so it, it was hard. And he, and he didn't really step up to his heroic side for a, for a bit, and so I think it was the challenge. We never wanted him to appear, appear too passive, and we always wanted him to be in turmoil, but like nobody can play that better than Matthew Fox. So I sure got lucky there. Okay. Well, an apocalypse drama with uh, scientists in the center sounds uh, like very topical at, the, at first sense. Uh, how did you incorporate the, the narrative uh, of this, of the last few years in the, in the show? How mm, did you want to do that? Or you we, want to you know, I tell you, we didn't we we didn't really want to be so ripped from the headlines. But as time went on, we were much more we realized we were much more um, prescient, you know, that it was right, all happening right in front of us. Uh, I, I'm sure Adam McKay felt that when he was making Don't Look Up, you know, which was the comedy version of, of, of you know, the thriller that we set out to do. It was shocking how how what we were showing on you know what what was on the page was happening in the headlines and was happening just outside our door, and it, I you know I think it was compelling and, and and scary for us and also galvanizing because we realized man we got to get this story out fast the clock is ticking the lights are going down uh, time is running out. Uh, we need to get the story out fast and we need to get busy. You know, we all have a lot to do if we're going to turn this around. So in, in the same urgency that was happening out in the world was happening, you know, within our create creative world that it, we, we really, we really need to tell the story. Okay. Well, thank you so much for your time. It was a pleasure. And thank yeah. you to everyone. See the show. It's amazing. Thank you, Raquel. <laughs> Bravo fangirls. <laughs>